I'm Emily Kirkpatrick, your Executive Director, and I'm excited to have this opportunity to speak with you directly. Every day you, our members, work to bring new ideas and new insights into how education shapes the future for all students, and by extension, brings new energy to our organization, our NCTE. Since April, we've held in-person and online sessions across the country, investigating every aspect of the work NCTE is currently doing. We've met with experts in social media strategy and innovation, and are now using those learnings to remodel what we do and how we do it so that we can work with members to keep literacy, teaching, and learning at the forefront of progress. NCTE as an organization will listen, will respond to, as well as prompt progressive ideas from every corner of our membership. Every single day I make a point of talking with an NCTE member. In these conversations I learn what teachers need to be supported, whether that's information, inspiration, or new opportunities to contribute to NCTE's expansive work. It's exactly why I want to be in the field working with and witnessing the power of teachers, seeing our students thrive, experiencing new writing, and seeing this work come alive in classrooms across America. And it is that spirit that you, our members, represent. With your help, NCTE is moving forward. Let me give you some examples. This month, a team of new editors launched a remodeled journal for middle-level educators. Sarah Cater and Shelby Whitty have long been leaders within NCTE, but as editors of Voices for the Middle, they've listened to the calls from members for more relevant content, more space for varied voices, more access to ideas through the technologies that our members now rely on in their classrooms. Sarah and Shelby, along with a team of teachers from across the country, have delivered. The journal features voices of real teachers working to use literacy to change our worlds. The podcast contains many voices from the field. Voices talking about inspirational things such as their teacher's bucket list, how student writing leads to community change. The journal features articles that place student and teacher voices front and center in purposeful literacy work. And in the same spirit of focusing on literacy, in October we are relaunching the National Day on Writing with a new effort to encourage all writers to join us for Why I Write all throughout the year. Stay tuned. Other initiatives we have taken include moving our Washington office closer to Capitol Hill, Members can now be closer to legislative events while in an NCTE's office. We've developed an important task force to help us rethink how NCTE addresses and embraces diversity and inclusion. We are redesigning our website and communication tools to amplify your voices and concerns. And in November, we are launching a new look and feel for the organization one that reflects what all of you have been telling us what NCTE is and should be. This is energizing and exciting work, and at every step along the way, it's grounded in your stories, your ideas, your inspiration. What do you want to know or contribute to our new directions? What issues and ideas do you think we should be focusing on? And how are the changes at NCTE positively affecting the work you do? Send your thoughts to me by way of the Field Notes link on the homepage at nct.org. Every day you, our members, are out there turning the page, making tomorrow greater than today, writing new chapters in the future of your students' lives, and by extension, that of NCTE. I'm thrilled to be on this journey with you.